Okay, let's see here. This is uh, Craig Dabler again, a uh, friend of Kevin Potter's, and I am going to take a shot at the sand casting again with this new tool here. And this this piece of metal here fits right there. Sand casting mold goes right there, and you just kind of lightly tighten it. Set your metal right there. I'm going to use a bigger torch this time because the last time I did it, that that other torch was great, but man, it was really slow. And so this is a Hope torch. I've been using it for like 30 some years. Works great. I can do uh, I can melt platinum with it. Solder fine chain. With this, I took a regular tip and I drilled it out. And so I'm just going to melt this metal quite quickly, as you can see. Probably take a tenth of the time it did last time. Look how fast that's melting. It's going to take like minutes. Alright man, this is really close. Okay, so now we're going to heat up the end of that a little bit. A little more on the middle. Set it down. Jump it. Look at that. Right in the hole. I mean, I missed a little bit, but that's no big deal. So, we don't have to let it cool too long. I should have grabbed a glove or something. But uh, this isn't really hot. So the big thing here is to see whether or not that came out. You know, how about if I do this? Dump it. Look at that, it came right out. And I was over at, been over at Kevin Potter's all week, and we've been going through these dyes, which are really amazing. But I realized that with the dyes, I can't do rings like this. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna burn a hole in my bench. <laughs> but anyways, I thought when I was driving home, I thought, you know, if I have a client that wants a, a wedding band, and I don't want to run my big oven, I can actually cast a wedding band in, you know, less than 20 minutes and have a uh, perfectly good casting to finish up. So there it is. Very simple. Thank you. How do you turn this off?